Yesterday, we first showed you a disturbing safety report from the FAA. It says every day, on average, there are three near collisions on airport runways in the United States. That's right. 35 major U.S. airports have installed new ground radar to try and stop those mistakes. Manuel Bojorquez is at Love Field in Dallas. Manuel, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. In terms of aircraft movement, Dallas-Fort Worth has two of the big airports in the world. These major hubs can handle thousands of flights a day, and with such high volume, there is little room for error. The control tower recordings are riveting. SkyWest uh, 5741, hold, hold, hold. In 2007, two planes at San Francisco International Airport nearly missed while one was taking Sky off West the other taxiing. And last December at Chicago's Midway Airport, pilots on a Southwest Airlines jet about to cross a runway narrowly avoided another jet barreling into them. Okay, you just copied. He cleared us under a runway. There's a plane taking off. I want to acknowledge you cleared us under a runway. A plane was taking off. These are extreme examples of what the FAA calls runway incursions. The definition of the incursion is having your airplane or someone's vehicles or some other aircraft in the wrong position at the wrong time. A runway incursion was responsible for the largest disaster in commercial aviation history. Good evening. It still is not known exactly how many persons died in that airplane collision yesterday. In 1977, a KLM 747 collided with a Pan Am 747 during takeoff in the Canary Islands, killing 583 people. CBS aviation and safety expert Captain Chesley Sullenberger says runway incursions are the last frontier in aviation safety. We picked much of the low-hanging route in solving the problem of runway incursions. We've improved air traffic controller procedures greatly. Nearly 1,000 runway incursions happened last year in the U.S., seven of them considered very close to catastrophic. The FAA told CBS News that is actually an improvement. In 2000, that number was 67. But we have the obligation to get those numbers as close to zero as possible. To have one could be potentially catastrophic. In a statement, the FAA told us runway status lights, literally traffic lights for runways, will be installed at 23 U.S. airports by 2016. The question, of course, remains what could happen between now and then. Back to you. So the captain says we've got the low-hanging fruit. What is the higher hanging fruit that we need to get to to prevent this kind of disaster? You know, I don't know, but I mean, clearly it's more dangerous on the ground than in, the, in air. the air. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot more to It's one of the things that scare me. When you fly. Yeah.